Hey G fans, GojiFan93 here, and uh, I know I've posted a lot of videos today, but um, I had to do one more because I finally uh, was able to sit down and watch the first, um, the Rebirth of Mothra movie. Um, I have a lot, some of you asked me if I've seen it before, wanted to know what I thought, but I haven't seen it, but now I have, and uh, I'm here to give like a little review thing about it, uh, so, um, so, after seeing it, uh, well, before I, I was seeing it, I, I had low expectations. I wasn't, you know, because I'm not a big Mothra fan, so I wasn't so, like, excited to see it. But, you know, the movie started and, you know, it showed Mothra. That was cool. And um, the suit, or the design of Mothra looked very similar to um, Godzilla vs. Mothra in, from the Heisei 1992. Um, but this was 1996 when it came out. Um, and, uh, but, you know, a couple things that I liked about it, um, was, uh, the, the Mothra fairy character, that thing was so cute. I loved that thing. That, like, the little, just the, the little Mothra thing that the two fairies are, are flying on and stuff, he was, or she was, like, that, that was a cute little Mothra fairy thing. Um, and then there was, like, uh, obviously there were kids in it and this movie I, I heard a lot of, from people that saying that the, the rebirth of Mothra trilogy is, is very aimed towards kids and I can sort of see that but um, to me it was actually I mean it was it wasn't so heavily on kids you know I mean yeah there were two kids they were the protagonists and stuff but they weren't and actually surprisingly they weren't really that annoying um, and most films like this when you have kids in there they're kind of annoying they take away from the movie and well they didn't really they didn't annoy me or anything like that they actually did a pretty good job um so like you know a, a scene that i really liked was like the fight scene between the mothra fairy and the dragon laid the evil person her name i think her name was belvira or something like that and they were like fighting in the in the living room of the of the main character's house and stuff and they're just having like this little basically like um dog fight <clears throat> in, in the air that was that was pretty funny um and uh another thing that i really uh, a scene that was pretty funny was um when they're in the airplane and um they dress up the doll or the the little fairies as um uh, like barbies they dress them up like dolls and stuff i thought that was pretty funny um then uh and then when we get to the part where they introduce um, Deskidora, that was his name. Um, it was awesome the way they introduced him coming out of the mountain. It's exploding and stuff, and and like you know, hit one head pops out and the other head is just all and they all come out. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Um, and then throughout the movie, you know, they have the musical score and the the music was like the best thing in this movie I mean it was the music was so beautiful sounding and it and it matches perfectly with you know like what Mothra is you know and it was so majestic and calm and like even the fighting music was still really like I don't know it was just really good I, I the music was spectacular um, and uh, and then you know, uh, Mothra's fighting Descadora, and then um, she's getting her, her ass kicked, which I was thinking, you know, oh, again, you know, even in her own movie now, she gets her ass kicked, uh, you know, by, by Descadora, and it just seems like she can never get a break. Every movie she's in, she's always getting her ass kicked, and, um, I, and I really, I was, like, rooting for her. I'm like, you know, come on, you can beat him and stuff, and, uh, and she has the birth of the Martha larva, like in every Mothra movie, you know, um, there's always a child that comes out. And but what was really interesting is that um, they actually, the Mothra larva started to help the adult, her her mom, um, fight uh, Descadora. And like the really cool thing was is that the Mothra larva lifted up and shot a green bur uh, beam out of her like out of her body. So I was like, whoa! When did Mothra larva could do that? Like shoot a beam? Like that was that was so cool how she was able to do that um and then of course mothra dies but this scene where mothra is like you know they're they're about like mothra took her uh child and they and they went over to the ocean and then she dropped her off and then mothra just went 
into the water too. And you know, we're going, oh man, she's gonna die and stuff. But they make it so dramatic and so sad. This is the saddest death that I've had to watch Mothra in. I mean, like, you know, it was it was sad, you know, in like Tokyo SOS with Fighting Godzilla, where you know the two kind of the two larvae are coming up to the mom and they're talking and stuff like that, or when Batra's talking to Mothra. But I mean, this, where her child is talking to her. And it doesn't end there. They start, you know, when they're talking, and all of a sudden Mothra, like, just, you see her start to, like, go into the water. She's starting to, like, really starting to, you know, go. And and then the, the Mothra larva, and they, they hug. They, like, touch, and Mothra's, like, you know, putting the larva under her wing and stuff like that. And they're making the most saddest sound, and the music's playing and stuff. Like, I was so sad at that moment. I mean, it, it's probably the, like, almost just as sad as when Godzilla's burning up and melting. Like, that's how sad this scene was and I bet if you're a diehard fan of Mothra that pro that scene probably made you tear up because as a Godzilla fan the burning when Godzilla burnt up that made me tear up and you know I mean it's like so you know I, I phew, it was it was a very sad scene and then she like totally just just sinks and and just goes down in the water like so so and like oh my god it was so sad um, but then the larva goes and then she you know becomes an adult and stuff and then she becomes um i think it was uh, mothra leo is what the name was and that design was so cool um the new design the new look for her is awesome um just an all-around great costume for her and and stuff like that and uh and then when she goes back to fight Descadora. Um, her, she has like these new moves, these new powers, special attacks that she can do. There's like this one where she's like flying and like blue, I don't know, blue lasers are like coming down from the sky and just hammering Descadora. Then there's, then when she was doing her final attack to, because Ghidorah, Descadora was a sealed away monster. Like the story was is that there's like this past battle before humans came and, and Descadora got sealed by, I guess, an army of Mothers. I guess there were more Mothers than one and, and but then you know Descador got back out and now Mothra Leo has to seal her back seal him back up but it was cool like she was she was flying around and then green lasers were flying down and, and just keep on hammering Descador and stuff and just I mean that, that was a pretty cool scene and then you know she finally seals him up and stuff and uh, it was it was a good movie I mean like I said I didn't go I didn't come into the movie with a lot of you know like ooh, but, but you know what I'm glad I saw it. I mean, like it, it's it's been a while. Well, it's it's been a very long time since I've seen a new Keiju film. I mean, the last Keiju film I saw from Toho was so many years ago. Probably Final Wars was the last movie that I that I saw. No, actually, it probably wasn't even that. It was probably Godzilla vs. Biollante, or because th that movie was hard to find back in the day. Um, and so, I mean, it's been a long, a lot of years since I've seen a, a Keiju film, and um, this was this was good. I, if, if you're a Godzilla fan, or Mothra fan, Gamera fan, or just a Keiju fan, I really strongly recommend watching this movie. Um, it it is a good one. Um, yeah, the characters are good too. They're not they're not so bad. The mom and dad, they barely really have any kind of lines. I mean, they're at the beginning, but then they kind of just flake off for the rest of the movie. But uh, yeah, uh, it, it was a very good movie, very good watch. I'm very happy I saw it, um, and uh, I'll do another review like this when I see the uh, Rebirth of Mothra 2. So yeah, um, that's it. And uh, oh, and I gotta thank Ultra Mothra 1 for recommending the movie to me to for for me to see it. So yeah, so um, that's it. And uh, see you next time. Stay big, G fans.